In this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video, we're going to be discussing getting out of the environment um, and planning, uh, strategizing, and just taking an overall helicopter view of either your desk or your business. Let's go. Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. I um, wanted to um, put together a little bit of a video this week on getting out of your environment um, in order to strategize, plan, look at your desk from a, from a bit of a helicopter view, um, especially as we're at the end of Q1 now um, for, um, for time stamping. We're recording this in April 2023. So, um, as a business, we, we have a quarterly managers meeting, um, which we've just conducted the review of Q1. Um, so I thought it was quite apt to record this one this week. Um, and basically, um, we take the managers out of the environment, we take them away from the office, um, and we do it at a, an external venue um, where we get together, we, we review the quarter that's just gone, we look at plans for the remainder of the year, where we're up to on budget, how we need to get there, um, we strategize, we, we put some ideas together the managers will pre present um, an element of the of the day as well um, and I think this is quite important whether you're a, a business owner um, or just uh, running a desk uh, of your own um, when I was employed um, I had my best ideas and I still do uh, in a lot of cases when I'm on holiday when I'm out of the office I'm not being pestered um, and you've just got time to relax and think and I think that uh, we get a lot of value from the managers meetings that we do on a quarterly basis uh, and that's because you know you're not constantly being emailed, you're not constantly being rung. You can switch off from the from the noise, if you like, and just focus on what you're there to do. And that is look at the business or, or your desk as a whole. Look at the clients that you're trying to target. Um, look at how how your revenue is going against what you were what you were hoping to do. Um, and I do think it's important to make sure that when you're doing that, you do it offsite, away from the office. And I'd actually argue that it's it's quite feasible for you to you know go and speak to your director or your manager and say look you know I want half a day out of the office I want to think about how I progress this year where I want to be and I want to do that away from the office environment and I think um, people would be crazy to turn that down because you need to know where you're going in order to get there it's the same same old adage of you don't get in the car without a destination you know where you're going you know how you're going to get there before you turn the engine on and it's the same in, in recruitment you've got to know what your target is where, where you're aiming to be when you're aiming to be there and how you're going to navigate yourself around that and it can be difficult sometimes when you're in amongst the uh, leaves constantly being battered constantly being uh, harassed constantly being rung and chased and sometimes you lose focus on a where you're trying to get to and b how you're trying to get there and i think sometimes you need that step back just to move forward again um, and we we find it very uh, informative very interesting and, and very much worthwhile and um, like I say the managers will present a different element of the job and we'll, we'll share ideas um, and it, uh, co collaborate ultimately uh, the different officers come together and we collaborate to try and make sure that we're all moving in the right direction so for me it's very important to do that and to do it as i've said away from the office it, you can't do that in your day-to-day -day work because there's too many distractions there's too much to do and quite frankly you'd get to a stage where um it'd be like right today we're gonna we're gonna plan we're gonna strategize and we're gonna look at reviewing q1 half an hour in somebody was saying well I've got a job to fill I need to go and fill this job and you just get lost in the uh, the, the noise again uh, and you'll get to the end of the year possibly not having hit your targets I wonder um, why that is and it's too late at that point you need to be doing it consistently regularly and like I say away from the environment so that you don't get lost in all the noise so that you can take a step back and say well, actually this is where I want it to be we're nowhere near that why aren't we there or we've kind of gone off at a different tangent here and we need to pull it back towards the plan that we set at the start of the year and the plan that you set at the start of the year might not always be correct might not always be accurate and it may need to change but again that can be discussed within the meeting or, or you can look at that yourself um, as, as you're reviewing your stats you know have you had more interviews than you were expecting this month this year were you expecting it to be a tougher year than it is but as it turns out it's actually going to be a good year and you can push your targets a little bit more but it needs to be done outside of environment we will have regular one-to-one -one meetings with the staff again they're done in the office um, and it's it's remarkable how often uh, when you sit down with somebody you're getting interrupted either people coming in needing to speak to you or the consultant needing to nip out to do something and getting that 
time to focus on on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve, your desk, how you're trying to get to, to the end goal um, is, is vital. And the benefit of doing it outside of the environment is that you can take time, you can take a helicopter view of it all, and you can make sure that you give it the, the respect and the uh, focus that it really needs to, to be successful. So I would definitely advocate that once a quarter you take some time away from the office just to focus on your desk, your division, your team, your business, whatever it is that you're you're responsible for to make sure that things are going the way that they're meant to, making sure that the strategy is still being followed and that you've not kind of gone off in a different direction um, and everything's moving in the right in the right trajectory. Um, I'm a big advocate of that. I think it's time massively well spent. Um, and if you do that, you'll definitely be more successful than if you constantly just Monday to Friday, head down, going for it, getting getting stuck in, um, and then at the end of the year, lifting your head up to see where you ended up. You've got to take that time, and I'm a bit, big advocate of that. I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. Make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Uh, like this video, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. And we'll see you next week. Cheers.